Welcome back to Outlaw Championship Wrestling. My name is Grant Pachoco, and it is a pleasure to have you here, ladies and gentlemen, tuned in for our big eighth card of Outlaw Championship Wrestling. Uh, before we get into the action, I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for checking out these videos. And a big shout out to all of our Golden Circle members who help make the videos on this channel possible. Uh, could not do this without them. Well, uh, we crowned our North American champion uh, on the last card. Uh, that was last week. Um, so this week, uh, we are going to start working our way uh, to determining the Outlaw Tag Team Champions. Uh, we have two tag team matches here tonight, uh, the winners of which will face each other next week in the main event um, for the Outlaw Tag Team Championships. And uh, very excited about this. We've got a big card, uh, but our opening match is going to be none other than Butch Reed versus Matt Bourne. And um, the colors are a little different here. This is, it's uh, it's tripping me out. Um, all right. Uh, uh, I, I've updated to the latest version of FG Assistant, and um, this looks nice. I like it. Uh, all right, so we've got Butch Reed versus, um, oh, there's the color back. That was weird. That was strange. Um, once I clicked on it, the, <laughs> the color came in. Uh, so we got Butch Reed versus Matt Bourne. I'm just looking at their cards to see if there's any sort of thing. There's not. All right, here we go. Let's roll the dice and ring the bell. They both roll a 10, so we'll re-roll. And Matt Bourne going to start things off here uh, with some brawling punches uh, against Butch Reed. He is dazed. Uh, there's some wild brawling punches. Uh, Days one. Does it, is that really... Oh, it was wild brawling. I misread it. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, dazed one. And uh, there is a drop kick two on Butch Reed. Hurt two. Matt Bourne really taking it to Reed here. Knee drop three. Hurt two. Uh, stomp to the eyes. Choice B. Uh, let's see. What is Reed's agility is a zero. And his turnbuckle is a B. He's going to throw him into the turnbuckle. It's a reversal. And Bourne goes into the turnbuckle, crushed by a big kick. Opponent rolling on level two offense into the ropes goes Matt Bourne. You caught the rope, the powerful flying shoulder tackle. Opponent rolls. Oh, roll on level two offense. I am sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I am running on lack of sleep here. So uh, I don't know why I can't even read uh, sentences. Okay. Here we go. Getting into the game. Matt Bourne reverses it. Uh, again, stomp to the eyes. Again, he's going to throw Butch Reed into the turnbuckle. It's up to you. You count the uh, turnbuckle, the big special to move the wrestler with a better turnbuckle rating. Uh, that is going to be Butch Reed. Butch Reed's going to roll on level three offense. There it is. The big top rope clothesline. Uh, so the pin here is going to be six. And the roll is a six. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, that ends the match, and uh, Butch Reed beats Matt Bourne uh, with a top rope clothesline. Uh, and let's see. Um, it certainly wasn't a squash. We'll give it one star. Uh, and after the match, uh, Butch Reed calls out... Uh, North American champion, Dory Funk Jr., demanding a title shot, saying, you know, you only uh, won, because uh, Dory Funk won after a missed turnbuckle charge, because... Of a fluke. Face me one on one for the title. So there you go. Uh, we will see what Dory Funk Jr. has to say about that. All right. And that uh, ends our match. And we will head to our next match. Uh, which is Coco Samoa versus Rugged Ronnie Garvin. So again, uh, 
There we go. There, I got the color in. Uh, so we got Coco Samoa versus Ronnie Garvin. Rolling the, the, rolling the dice. Ringing the bell. There's the bell. Uh, Ronnie Garvin is going to start things off here with a high backdrop. Uh, power move. He does have the power, so it will work. But Coco Samoa reverses it. Hits a big headbutt on Ronnie Garvin. That catches him. Target three. Roll nine. Uh, so there is one fatigue for Ronnie Garvin. And Coco Samoa follows it up with a springboard clothesline. Hurt two. A uh, high back body drop. Down three. Coco Samoa. Look at this. A body suplex. Ronnie Garvin finally able to reverse it. Uh, not going to throw him into the ropes. Going to roll up instead. There's a face mangler. Hurt two. Rugged Ronnie Garvin. Uh, toss Passes him into the turnbuckle, crushed by a big kick. Uh, locks in the Boston Crab. Hurts two into the turnbuckle, throws him into the turnbuckle. Coco Samoa lifts a knee, and he's going to roll on level two offense. Choice B. Um, what is his turnbuckle? It's a C. He's going to throw him into the turnbuckle. It's a reversal. Look at that. Uh, and it's another reversal. We can only have one. going to reverse. No, keep getting reversals. Uh, he lifts a knee. And uh, he is going to roll on level two offense. Uh, choice B, again, turnbuckle. Uh, throws him into the turnbuckle. Bounce forward and into an incredible neck-breaking clothesline. Opponent rolls on level three offense. There's the super fly leap. Now let's see what this says here. Uh, on a roll of one, Coco, roll one die. On a roll of one, Coco misses. Uh, so let's roll one die here. It's a five, so he doesn't. So this is a plus one. The target is going to be five. Uh, the roll is a 10, so he is safe. Uh, not going to throw him out of the ring. Going to roll up. There's a big headbutt. Hurt two. Uh, there's another headbutt. Down three. Uh, not going to throw him out of the ring. There's another headbutt. Uh, hurts two. Uh, there is a choice B. Going to throw him into the turnbuckle again. Crushed by a big kick. Uh, into the ropes. Garvin goes into the ropes. Uh, but Garvin catches him. Hits him with a pile driver. Will roll on level three offense. There it is. The hands of stone. The target here will be five. The finisher rating is a three. What a come from behind victory uh, for Ronnie Garvin there with the hands of stone. And uh, let's see, that was, that'll be a one and a half star match um, with Ronnie Garvin. Uh, big come from behind victory there. Um, yeah. Holy moly. All right. Um, yeah. I don't have anything else to add there. Uh just a fantastic come from behind match. All right, here we go. The Golden Grams versus Junkyard Dog and Mr. Olympia. The winner here uh, will get to go forward and uh, uh, face uh, whoever wins the, the main event uh, for the titles. Um, we're going to say that Eddie Graham is going to start with Mr. Olympia. Uh, so let's roll the dice. Ringing the bell. Mr. Olympia going to start things off here. Fist drop two. Uh, it's an agility move. Uh, he does have the agility, so that will work. Dazed one. Into the turnbuckle. Tosses Eddie Graham into the turnbuckle. Crushed by a big kick. Uh, there's a body slam. Tries to get him up. Not able to do it. Elbow smash two by Jerry Graham. Hurt two uh, is Mr. Olympia. He is going to try and tag out here. He is able to do it. And Junkyard Dog comes in, rolls on level one offense, a dance and a bark that sort of dazes uh, Eddie Graham. Snap Mare, uh, but no, Eddie Graham's going to reverse that with a kidney blow, dazing the Junkyard Dog. Uh, there's a hair pull to a grounded top wrist lock. Junkyard Dog gets out of it, hits some crawling headbutts since they're down there. Down three, and Eddie Graham is going to leave the ring. He grabs Junkyard Dog by the leg, whips him into the turnbuckle, and throws him back in. It's going to roll on level three offense. There's the atomic knee drop. Um, in tag team matches with Jerry Graham, use rope guillotine atomic knee drop plus three tag. Uh, so that's what they're going to do. And uh, so that'll mean Jerry Graham is now the legal man in the ring. Um, and I think Mr. Olympia is going to, they're going to, oh, I didn't add, uh, I forgot to add. Pin save. 
Um, 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 um. How do I do that? Match counters. Here we go. Pin saves. Okay. Uh, so they're going to use their first pin save. Mr. Olympia is going to use it. They're rolling. Oop, let me get rid of this. Uh, rolling. Pin save here. Fail. Roll the pin. So this is it. Plus three. So the target here is six after the rope guillotine atomic knee drop. And the roll's an eight. So Junkyard Dog able to kick out. Uh, and now Jerry Graham in control. Uh, not gonna, what is his outside of the ring? Not gonna throw him outside of the ring, gonna roll up. There is a knee lift on the Junkyard Dog. Junkyard Dog reverses it, uh, tosses Jerry Graham into the turnbuckle, crushed by a big kick. Opponent rolls on level two offense. There's a big atomic drop. That catches him. They're gonna hang on to their pin save. Uh, the target here is gonna be three. The roll is a six. Uh, Junkyard Dog is gonna tag out because he's got one fatigue, but Mr. Olympia will hit an inside cradle, hurts two. Uh, there is a drop kick, three, hurts two. Body slam, two, but it's a power move, and Jerry Graham has the power. Choke on ropes, two, hurts two. Uh, choke on ropes, two. Mr. Olympia uh, reverses it, tries a fist drop. It will work, and that is a hurt two, and... Um, uh, Jerry Graham going to try and tag out. He is able to do it. And here comes Eddie Graham. Eddie Graham coming in. And uh, he rolls on level one. Double team in corner three. Uh, so that swaps him out again. And that hits the pin. Um, uh, are they going to use their second pin save? No, they're going to they're gonna risk it. They're going to risk it. Here we go. Roll the pin. The target four. The roll is six. Smart, smart. Uh, so there's a one fatigue for Mr. Olympia. And not going to throw him out of the ring. Going to roll up. There's a knee lift, too. Mr. Olympia reverses it. Tosses uh, Jerry Graham into the turnbuckle. Crushed by a big kick. Opponent rolls uh, into the ropes. Tosses Jerry Graham into the ropes. You count the ropes. The opponent puts you down with a running back elbow. Opponent rolls on level two offense. Uh, Mr. Olympia with a big drop kick. Hurts, too. And a choice F. Um, so what is his power is a negative two. So that would not work. Uh, so going to go for the agility move. This will work on a seven or less. The rolls a seven. It does work. Hurts two. Mr. Olympia tries to pick him up or a body slam, but it does not work. Uh, a knee lift foils Mr. Olympia. And, uh, there's a double team in the corner. Uh, that brings in Eddie Graham. And we will roll on level three. Oh, and that's the pin. All right, they are going to use their next pin save here. Um, and uh, so let's see. Rolling on the pin save. Fail. Roll your pin. So the target here is five. The roll is a seven. There's another fatigue for Mr. Olympia. Kicks and stomps in the corner. Oh, no, that's it. Uh, so the target here is six. The roll is 11. Mr. Olympia kicks out. Is he going to be able to tag out here? Uh, out of the ring. Not going to throw him out of the ring. Hits a big body slam on Mr. Olympia. Oh, no. Target seven. Roll six. That does it. Uh, and, um, let's see with a body slam, uh, uh, with a body slam, uh, let's see. That was Eddie Graham beat Mr. Olympia, uh, with a body slam, uh, four, five, six, uh, we'll call that a two star match. Cause it was also a uh, four, uh, out. Law Tag Team Championship Qualifier Qualifying Match. All right. So the Golden Grams will go on to our next card next week, and they uh, will uh, wrestle uh, whoever wins in our main event. But before we get there, We've got a fun little match here. Uh, Jay Youngblood uh, versus uh, Jay Youngblood versus Kamala. And uh, let's roll the dice. 
And the bell rings, and Jay Youngblood's going to start things off. Low rolls to start things off. Into the turnbuckle uh, goes Kamala. It is a reversal, and Jay Youngblood goes in. Only one reversal. Crushed by a big kick. Opponent rolls on level two offense. Scoop slam two. Hurt two. Uh, another scoop slam two. Jay Youngblood reverses it. Uh, tries a scoop slam of his own, uh, but it's not going to work. Kamala with a knife edge chop, and Jay Youngblood is down. Two handed choke throw. Hurt two. Into the turnbuckle. Uh, lift a knee, and Jay Youngblood rolls on level two, tries a scoop slam, not going to work. Into the turnbuckle goes Jay Youngblood, crushed by a big kick. Opponent rolls on level two, double thrust to the throat, down three. Uh, Kamala tosses Jay Youngblood outside of the ring. He crawls helplessly back in, and Kamala just tosses him right back out of the ring. In order to meet the referee's count, you crawl helplessly back in. Opponent rolls on level three offense, two-handed choke throw, hurt two. Two, a double thrust to the throat, three, down three, and a two-handed choke throw, hurt two, uh, bite, here's a choice A, what are his ropes as a B? His power is low, but he's going to toss him into the ropes. Uh, the opponent gets into a position for a back body drop, but you grab him and hit him with an awesome pile driver. Jay Youngblood coming back. War dance and then a jumping chop down three. Kamala's going to leave the ring. Oh, I rolled A. Sorry. Uh, he is going to leave the ring. And in order to meet the referee's count, he crawls helplessly back in. Jay Youngblood. There's the falling double chop. The target here is going to be four. The roll is an 11. And there's one fatigue for Kamala. War dance and jumping chop. Oh, that hits him again. Target is going to be four. Roll is a seven. The crowd going crazy. There's another war dance and a chop. Hurt too. The crowd just cheering. Jay Youngblood. And Kamala's going to roll out of the ring, but crawl helplessly back in before the count. Jay Youngblood not going to throw him out. Oh, he tries a scoop slam and it fails miserably. Knife edge chop. He is down. Kamala tosses him out of the ring and he crawls helplessly back in. He locks in the chest claw and that is Jay Youngblood going to submit. Yes, he does. Oh, after that great flurry of a comeback, uh, Kamala is able to uh, dismantle Jay Youngblood uh, with a chest claw. Um, wow, that was a fun little match. Um, so Jay Youngblood loses to Kamala. And uh, let's see. I'm going to give it two stars. It was it was really only one, uh, one and a half stars, but I'm going to give it two stars. That was a fun a uh, fun little match called Promoter Prerogative. It's what it's called. All right, it is time for our main event, ladies and gentlemen. Find out which of these two teams is going to head uh, to uh, the uh, finals um, of the tournament and face the Golden Grams. All right, we're going to have the assassin start with Buddy Roberts. So we're rolling the dice. We're ringing the bell. The assassin's going to start things off with an eye rake. Buddy Roberts says no. Uh, hits him with a groin kick. And um, uh, he's going to play it safe. He is going to go for the agility. This will work on a 10 or less. It does hurt too. Uh, but uh, the assassin going to try and tag out. Not able to do it. Uh, Buddy Roberts, another groin kick. He's going to go for it. He needs a six or less here. Oh, no, 11. It doesn't work. The assassin whips Buddy Roberts into the turnbuckle. Um, but Buddy Roberts moves, and the assassin goes tumbling out of the ring. And uh, the opponent comes out of the ring and hits you with an object like a steel chair. The referee warns Buddy Roberts, warns him to stop. He might roll his disqualif... I mean, he is going to roll his disqualification here. Uh, but the roll is a five, and that is it. Just like that. Uh, Buddy Roberts disqualified, uh, blowing his chance uh, at at uh, at at the Outlaw Tag Team Championship. Um, oops, let me go back here. Outlaw Tag Team Championship qualifying match. Uh, and the, like Ernie Ladd didn't even get in. Neither did, uh, Michael Hayes, um, DQ, 
Um, do we have a chair? No. After a smash with a steel chair outside the ring. All right, so this was a dud. I'm going to give it one star just because it was a qualifier match. Um, but there you go. All right, so it's going to be the Golden Grams versus the Assassin and Ernie Ladd. Now, that match for the title will be no, dis no disqualification, no count out. Uh, let's head on over. Uh, first, we'll head on over to our event history just to make sure... Everything looks good here and was recorded. Uh, tonight's show coming from the Tingley Coliseum. Um, so uh, it wasn't, uh, wasn't completely sold out, but New Mexico, not a huge, uh, you know, uh, in the 80s. It's fine. Whatever. <laughs> I'm sure there was a thing. Uh, there was a lot of people who liked wrestling, but, uh, but over half full. So there you go. That's what you can say. All right. So everything looks good here. Now, what I always love to do is to check out the rankings. And uh, look at the updated rankings. Oh, before we get to there, let me show you. Uh, Greg Hunter from the amazing Hunter's Forge has created uh, the North American Championship for uh, Outlaw Championship Wrestling, uh, currently held by Dory Funk Jr. And uh, he also created the tag team belts, which you will see uh, once we crown our, our first uh, tag championship uh, next week, which I'm very excited about. Okay, now it's ranking time. Let's head to the rankings and see what's the do. Uh, Dory Funk Jr. is uh, six wins, zero losses. Butch Reed, six wins, three losses. Um, uh, so Butch Reed really wants to get that title shot. I guess we will see. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, Terry Funk in third place, Ronnie Garvin, Ernie Ladd, Kamala, Moved up a little there, and uh, that's the rest. Looking at the tag rankings, Ernie Ladd and the Assassin are ranked number one, uh, three and zero. Oh. And uh, just on paper, the odds-on favorite to win the tag team championships, but we will see. The Golden Grams uh, might use some underhanded tactics in order to win. It is a no DQ, no countout match. All right, that's going to do it for this episode of Champion of Outlaw championship wrestling uh thank you so much for watching thank you for being here big shout out again to the golden circle channel members if you'd like to support the channel consider joining the golden circle you can find out more information in the little information box below uh thank you for being here talk to you soon goodbye ladies and gentlemen mm -hmm.